Hey, what's going on, guys? It's going to be a continuation from the video I posted previously about playing old uh, games on on a new computer using DOSBox Simulator and Windows 3.1. Uh, some people are having issues uh, specifically with uh, installing Windows 3.1 using the simulator. So I'm going to go through a quick uh, down and dirty tutorial on how to do this pretty much from start to finish. All right, so our starting point is going to be is you already have DOSBox. If you don't, just Google DOSBox, download it from somewhere, you can get it. Now, if you need the Windows 3.1 uh, installation files, there is a website you can go to, and this is the URL right here. Go to this URL, scroll down to the miscellaneous. You can see DOS and Windows. I'm um, also a lot of good information on this site, and specifically pertain to, to DOS and using Windows here. Uh, for here, you want to go ahead and uh, download the second one here because this, as you can see here, is useful for actual DOSBox installations. So you're going to click that download button there, then you hit download now. I've already downloaded the file to speed the process, which is right here. Once you've downloaded the file and it's completed, you're going to go ahead and extract the contents uh, to your computer. You know, take it out the zip file form. Um, I've actually already done this as well and I renamed it to Win31. So this file is this file right here. So I went ahead and, and extracted it, renamed it to Win31, and I placed it inside of my DOSBox file, which is inside of my Windows. Like I mentioned in the previous video, I just find it easier to mount it this way. I mean, you can put it anywhere as long as you know where it's located uh, when you're going through, then it, 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 that really doesn't matter. And so now we've downloaded Windows 3.1, we've extracted it, and we've placed it where we want it in our directory and named it what we want it. We'll go ahead and open up DOSBox. So just as before, nothing has really changed as far as the commands uh, ever. Um, we're going to mount our C drive, go to DOSBox, we're in that uh, folder. We're going to change directory to Win31. So this is going to place us into that file that we just downloaded. And now to install Windows 3.1, we're going to type in setup.exe, execute, and it's going to bring this up right here. And it's going to actually go ahead and just hit enter in this page here, hit enter again, and then it's going to go ahead and it's going to start uh, copying the files. Now, you'll notice that in here now there's a new folder called Windows, so pretty much default to this. Now, if you have another folder in here already uh, labeled Windows, it will prompt you uh, to name uh, the file or the directory in which you want to create uh, create the files at. So if there isn't one already named Windows, it's going to default that into it. However, if there is one already named Windows, then it may ask you to uh, name the directory. So uh, while we're waiting this, for this, this takes a couple of minutes, not too long. Um, you guys, uh, you know, like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment. I'll try to get back to you if I can. Um, if I don't know something, then I'll just tell you straight up I don't know, and you have to ask somebody else. Um, check out some other videos. I post different kind of content. I uh, recently just posted a video about a little project I was working on with Raspberry Pi. Really cool stuff. So if you're if you're in the computers and you haven't messed with the Raspberry Pi, you're really missing out. So I'd highly recommend you start checking that out. It's really cool stuff you can do. So now that, that part is finished, it's going to go through some type of uh, basic setup stuff. It's going to ask for like your you know computer name, uh, kind of like the out of box experience, just you know from back in the day. And it's going to ask you to set up your printers and stuff like that. So here on this, I just type in whatever. It really doesn't matter. Uh, hit continue, continue. It's going to continue on unpacking, capping, whatever it needs to do. Um, like I said here in a minute, it's going to ask us about printers and uh, network. I just kind of bypass all that. This part here is pretty quick. Alright, so no printer attached. I'll just hit install. I'll hit continue because I'm not going to set up no network stuff. Um, I'll go through this little prompt and stuff. And we're almost finished. I will say, uh, when once you get to, uh, you can go to the tutorial, but I don't think you really need one. So just skip tutorial and then return back to DOS. Now, you could go ahead and launch it right now, but I find that if you don't restart the DOS program, then it generates issues with the mouse and keyboard. Like, it just doesn't, doesn't want to work. So I go ahead, once you get to that point, go ahead and close it, and then we'll go back to the original setup process that I went through in the first video. So we're going to mount our C drive once again. So we always going to start. 
So we're going to mount the DOS box. Now we're going to change the directory to Windows, just like in the previous video. So now we're going to go into this right here, and then WIN to start Windows. And that is the down and dirty on how to install Windows 3.1 using the DOS box emulator. So um, if you guys have any ideas, suggestions, things you're trying to do yourself, can't figure it out, or anything like that, you know, shoot me a message or leave a comment, and I'll try to start doing some more uh, some more videos here in the near future. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for listening.